Hi and welcome to this video. So today I just want to bring your attention to Sonora Cinematics new sample library Poiesis Cello. And before you think, oh my god, another cello, wait until you heard it. I uh, just don't want to spend too much time on the website here, just letting you know that there is an intro price happening of 65, roughly 65 pounds until uh, November 15th. And uh, also you find all the information you need on the website. So just quickly want to mention that there is a walkthrough happening of the textures, which is one part of the library, and another walkthrough of the shorts, which is another part of the sample library. So let's take a look at it. So I don't want to sound too overly dramatic, uh, but what I did here with a simple move of the mod wheel is almost impossible to create, let's say with uh, traditional cello sample libraries that are focused on basic articulations, for example. And even if you would be able to do this, it would probably take a lot of time and not sounding that convincing, to be honest. So let me show you what's going on under the hood. So the GUI in general looks pretty self-explanatory. You get all the details from the website and the tutorial um, also, the microphone settings should be self-explanatory. You got a mix section, you got individual microphones, you can pan these as you like. You got an advanced tab and you can set lots of stuff like reverb, you can set the X-fade curve and way more. You can also have a pitch bend on layer B that we're getting uh, into. But the section I want to focus on is the A section and the B section here. And if you click below here, you can see lots of articulations going ordinario, tremolo, sul tasto, sul ponticello and so on. So what basically is happening here that I can pick, for example, um, a textural sparse here, and then I click the back button and then I can go to whatever I want. Let's pick, for example, a Sul Ponticello motions in one eighth. And if I click here, go back, you got these two selected here. And as soon as I move the mod wheel up and down, you can see the uh, two sections um, crossfading between each other. So let me just play a note and show you what is going on right now. So we have textural spars going into motions 1 8 Sul Ponticello. And to be honest, we don't need to be math experts, right, to understand how many combinations are possible, that you can pick whatever you like for this uh, A section here and then whatever you like for this other one and simply play around and fool around and see what's happening. <laughs> So just being experimental, what would happen if we uh, open an instance of Valhalla Shimmer and played with the same patch I played right now? I love reverb. So if you are a composer that is working for mystery TV series or movies, uh, horror stuff, or, you know, exciting tension-like thriller stuff, then this library is definitely for you. And again, being experimental, think about all the possibilities that you would get from, you know, creating unique sounding drones out of these 
uh, articulations. So I personally would say that the textures patch you got here is definitely the core and the heart of the library. But additionally to that, you also get a short patch here that includes pizzicato, staccato and spiccato. And also you get an advanced tab here where you can do some tweaks to the reverb settings. So let me just play through these articulations a bit. So as I mentioned in the beginning, to me, Poyuz's cello is a no-brainer because it's one of these, unlike any other sample libraries that sound very unique with a very intimate sound. And especially in this texture patch here, I mean, there, there is so much content in here and so much combinations possible in between all of these articulations. Um, you can create some really great sounding atmospheres that sometimes sound um, on purpose very random, very on accident and uh, very experimental, especially when having, uh, you know, motions in one fourth uh, going into harmonics, for example. So if you are interested in Poiesis Cello, check out the video description below. I left the link to the Sonora Cinematic website. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future videos. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.